Hello there. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be on proportional editing uh, in some blend and shape creation. This was a request uh, after my last video. Uh, so what this is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to increase uh, body part size, length, uh, thickness of uh, different parts of the body. Um, and um, you can even use this to create visemes and different facial expressions if you so see fit. Uh, so one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to enter edit mode here. Um, we're going to have the body mesh selected and we're going to hit tab. Now that we're in edit mode, um, you're going to see that for uh, on my screen, I already have um, the ability to see all the different uh, vertices through the model. And to enable that, you want to turn on limit selection to visible clipped with death buffer, which is at the bottom. What this will do is when you toggle between it, it'll let you see just the vertices in your view or the ones throughout the entire model through. Um, so uh, to do this, we're going to actually just do um, the ability to see just the front ones. And um, so this is going to be the first uh, use of um, this uh, proportional editing. Uh, we're going to go down here to this uh, circle and hit connected under proportional editing. Um, obviously, I'm going to increase the chest size because that is a very common thing in uh, VRChat. Um, I'll probably uh, also increase thigh size as well as uh, the size of the butt to uh, demonstrate uh, those different uh, areas. So for the chest, I'm going to just select this vertice right here. Now, this model should be symmetrical. So I'm going to actually go over to the left side of the screen and hit options and turn on X mirror. Now what this will do is if I move something on the on one side, it'll move it on the other uh, proportionally as long as it's symmetrical. Um, so next, uh, now actually not next, but uh, if your model is not symmetrical, you will have to find two vertices that are close to the area that you're going to edit. Um, but uh, it's best if uh, it's symmetrical so everything's going to be even. Uh, so on this model, I'm going to click this one vertice right in the center of the left breast and hit S. And I'm going to start enlarging. Now, as you see this circle here, as I scroll wheel, it gets bigger or smaller at the area that it affects. So you'll want to find a nice sweet spot. And so for here, uh, this is a bit bigger. And then I'm also going to go from the side and hit G to drag forward and up a little bit. And then so that will increase the size some. Now we can take this a step further and also make this a blend shape so you can adjust it all in Unity. To make this a blend shape, I'm going to go over to the body and go to the um, triangle that's upside down with three dots here. Um, this will allow you to see the vertex groups as well as the shape keys, which are called blend shapes in Unity. So as of right now, I only have the ones for talking and the blink. So I'm going to hit plus and make another one. And then I'm going to name that chest size. So I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to adjust the chest size just like I did before, making sure I'm in proportional edit mode. All right, so I'm going to increase that, move that forward some, maybe increase some more, move it inward. All right, let's say I'm happy with that. So now, now that this is a blend shape, I can actually adjust the size. Um, on the fly however I want. Um, another way of doing this is to go to object mode and when you have the mesh selected in cats you can go into pose mode. Uh, what pose mode is going to let me do is I can actually select the bones for the chest that are already selected and then I can hit S and enlarge them using the bones. Now keep in mind, some outfits are not skin tight. Um, some will have jackets and other things like that, which uh, different sizes will cause clipping. So the other method might be better. Um, so I'm going to also, let's see, do this. And then let's say I'm happy with that. I'm going to now hit pose to shape key. It'll ask me what I want to name that. So I'm going to call this uh, chest size two. This, after I exit pose mode, if I go back to the body, you'll now see that I have the one I created chest size and another one that pose mode created called chest size 2. Now for chest size 2, you see it works exactly the same. 
Um, it's just stretching it out to where I put it. And if like during the avatar creation in Unity, you wanted a certain size, you can actually just adjust this however you see fit. Um, this would also be nice for, um, uh, you can uh, put it on your model, upload it to VR uh, C mods, and then um, people that download your model can adjust it how they see fit using the blend shapes you've added. Uh, so we're going to do one for the um, uh, butt as well. I'm going to call that butt size. This does not have butt bones, which is where the proportional editing comes in handy. So I'm going to do that. Clean that up some. Because unfortunately, this is a very common request when it comes to uh, people making models. So I believe this should be quite useful. Um, so now I can adjust that. And the same with thigh thickness. This would be a bit more difficult because of the um, objects uh, from the armor she's wearing. So I'm going to name this thighs for now. And uh, I'm going to select um, the armor on the thighs here first. And uh, first I'm going to make sure that I can actually move both. Okay, so this over here will not move with that so I'm gonna have to uh, move that a little bit differently but we're gonna move this out a little bit you'll see why momentarily and then I'm also gonna click on this and move this out some and then I can click on the thigh increase that move it out some make it wider from the side I'll select this piece of armor as well and move that out. And that'll let me thicken her thighs up using a blend shape. Um, now, if you want to make that change permanent, uh, there is a feature in Cats that will help you do that. And this will also be useful to if you want to edit a mesh permanently, but not break blend shapes. So let's say I really liked uh, the butt size I increased it to. So I'm going to save this before I do it uh, because I do not want to make this permanent for myself because uh, I will be using this model in the future. Uh, so as you see, this is called the basis in the shape keys. What this means is this is how the model looks by default. Uh, the uh, different uh, blend shapes, however, are the way you edit and switch it around. Uh, so to make the butt change the default, I'm going to click on the butt size down here. One uh, shape key. I'm going to hit the down arrow here, and this feature called Apply Selected Shape Key as uh, Basis. Uh, what that'll do is it'll actually make it the basis and create a blend shape for what the basis used to be. So now it's doing it's doing the opposite. So I can actually shrink that in uh, using that. Um, I can also revert back if I need to. Uh, this will also be useful because some models come with expressions, but all the expressions are actually always active. So what you could do is you can select that, create a blend shape, and shrink the expression into the uh, head, and then apply it as a basis. And now you have the ability to create a gesture to show that expression. Uh, we're going to quickly make uh, one more shape key, because you can also um, use this to do uh, something that you've probably seen a lot in VR chat where a person will talk uh, or perhaps a knuckles and their head will get large or their visemes will become all screwy or uh, goofy and it, it, you know it's a meme. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna name this uh, large head. And we're gonna go up here and click on uh, uh, her head. However, it might be difficult to select her whole head quickly. So what we're going to actually do is go into the vertex groups. Now this will help you select areas such as the chest and butt to enlarge them in different ways. So I'm going to click on the head and then I'm going to go into edit mode and then click select. What this will do is it'll select everything that is connected to the uh, head bone. Um, thankfully for this model, the hair is all selected as well because it's uh, it doesn't have physics. It's just part of the head. I'm also going to select the eyes. And that should be in here somewhere. And now that those are all selected, I'm going to just hit my S key and enlarge that and move that up as well. So what will happen is you can add this in VR chat as a um, 
a letter such as a or o so when you say a your head will get larger um, or o um, for example does this right her mouth opens up so you can have any sort of animation where uh, for example her ha head would get wider or uh, tilt it such as that um, you'll you've probably seen a yellow-haired uh, lolly that is very popular for example that does this uh, this is just um, a couple of the uses uh, that you have uh, doing this uh, shape key creation. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this model over to Unity and show you just what all this can do. Now that we are in Unity, um, what we're going to do is it's as simple as you click on the body mesh uh, under the model and you'll have these blend shapes. Uh, you Sometimes you have to hit the down arrow and it'll reveal those. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to adjust the value. It goes from 0 to 100, and you can see that the chest size will increase based on this value. You can also click on the lettering and drag left and right and adjust more uh, uh, gently. Uh, but it's sometimes just best to type in the numbers a little bit by little bit until you get what you want. Um, one last thing is in the past I created a breathing tutorial where using this same method you can uh, expand the diaphragm. Uh, like so. Uh, unfortunately, this is just uh, increasing the chest size. But uh, if this was increasing uh, the diaphragm, you can add a uh, idle animation to your avatar that causes the chest to uh, deflate and inflate to uh, simulate breathing in VR chat, which I do enjoy adding to some models, and that would greatly increase some realism. Um, but that is about it for this tutorial. Um, hopefully, you guys can. Uh, adapt that. I'll go into a more specific version in the future uh, in creating Visemes and updating my old tutorial on Visem creation. Uh, but until next time, thank you for watching.